Welcome back to Nordic's Play, Dangarapa 2, Goodbye Despair with Phantom and Velgar. Mm-hmm. And Hachime with his cat's phrase. Yep! Oh, she has a tank crown. Yeah, it was in Dangarapa 1 already. Was it? Yeah, that I was forgot. one of the crazy personalities of hers. Yeah. Yes, I will remember. Reserve department. Do you now talk to Fuyuhiko? Because he refused to talk to you earlier. Mm. Hey, Fuyuhiko. Is it true that what you said? Junko Enoshiba is really dead? Huh? Oh, how did he pronounce it last time? Janko. Janko. Yes, Janko. I don't know where it came from, but I kept repeating it and it bothered me so much when I released it. What? You didn't see? There was a book called Panga for Morons, Killing School Life, in that bloody crash room. Crash room? Crash room? Yes. A bloody crash room? Is that some kind of test dummy facility? No, wait. What was that you said about killing school life? Leon! <laughs> Upper right corner, there's Leon! There's Leon! Aww. Man. Wait, were you actually saying something new? God damn it! Yes. I was it just was. clicking it away! <laughs> That the mastermind took her own life and blah blah. Yeah, that's what it said was. The killing school life ended up failing in the end. As a result, the six students who survived managed to escape from the academy. Ah uh, no no. From a manga about the killing school life, it was drawn with a lot of silly images and dumb gags. According to that, the mastermind behind the failed killing school life was. Junko Hiroshima. Junko. <laughs> Junko. <laughs> Junko. <laughs> the mastermind who took her own life, which means Junko Hiroshima is dead. I'm smart. Yes. <laughs> Monokuma doesn't I'm, believe. I'm here. Hey. Suga. It turns out that killing school life was part of that what that whole biggest, most awful whatever incident. Yes, biggest first stuff or whatever. Good. But didn't it uh, kind of happen after it? Mm, I think they just put it together into one big. <laughs> Junko took away the memories of former students of Hope's Week Academy and forced them to kill each other. Former students of Hope's Week Academy. He's just repeating it again. And she took away them back as just as I guess. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, the whole thing was being filmed by surveillance cameras and broadcast worldwide. <laughs> Again, <clears throat> there's a limit to being a cruel asshole. The surveillance cameras were packing the whole thing. <laughs> the students of Hope Academy were uh, widely uh, known what, as what, symbols what of hope. Say? What do you say? By forcing the people to watch these symbols of hope kill each other for the sake of survival. They were trying to fill everyone who watched the broadcast with despair <laughs> all at once. That's messed up. <laughs> hey, but that messed up plan was tough. Junko and Oshima failed. Junko lost the students she placed in her trap and after being overcome by despair she created. <laughs> she took her own life. Then, Junko is no more. <laughs> A bit heavy handed there, you know. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> no matter how horrible she was, there's no reason to fear someone who's dead. Whether Monokuma story is true or not, doesn't matter. Junko Enoshima isn't alive anymore. 
Can you please stop repeating the same thing over and over again? It's starting to make me really frustrated. Then, my guy, who is our enemy? You. Yes. Also, in a very modern setting, it is AI. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, wait, what was Hajime's name? Uh, Iz Izuru Kamikura or something. Hmm. And now some more graphically <laughs> oriented people have all sorts of <laughs> anger issues <laughs> flaring up again. <laughs> yes, because of you. Junko, Enishima is already dead. Are the rest of the ultimate despairs behind this? Are the followers of Junko carrying out her will? <sighs> That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, the killings were involved in... This is frustrating. That killing is This is, is so frustrating. <laughs> well, I don't know who the hell is imitating Junko and making us go through this, but... <laughs> an imitation is just that, an imitation. <laughs> if the students from Hope Street Academy stop the real deal, there's no way we'll lose what we're fake. But if this... Really, and imitation. Are those surveillance cameras the same too? The cameras all over Chapawok Island. Are they broadcasting to somewhere? Just like the surveillance cameras during the killing school life. Yay, level up. Wait, did we already get this one? Updated. Ah. <clears throat> yeah, want want to contribute something, Jungo? Man, how do you meet really know about Astoria? You know something? What the hell? Mm -hmm. Not possible. What? What? Do you have a problem with that? Do you know something? Yeah, I do. Well, I really wanted to read a manga version since I took the time to draw it. You know. <laughs> Sucks to be you. I mean, although, didn't he say earlier, Monomi can't write because she doesn't have thumbs up, and that's the same for him. So how does he draw? <laughs> he holds a pen with both paws. <laughs> Sitting <laughs> legs spread. What I mean? Drawing the thing. Like, <laughs> but I mean, manga needs to have something written in it as well, doesn't it? Hmm. So, hmm, well, anyway. He just flipped the page and continues drawing. <laughs> At least all the manga are there. Oh well, I'll just raise the flag. Flag? Fuck okay. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, you're Hajime. No! <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Raise the flag? What's going to happen if you do that? I don't like when I was blush. Okie dokie! Oh god. A dating sim reference. <laughs> um, no. Well, One step at a time, you're getting closer to clearing my character, Rude. You're not making sense again. As if. Sims. As if Hajime wouldn't have played those. And then I'll give you guys my all. I'll tell you everything I know, including information on the outside and the inside. I dress in flex like crazy. Crazy. Okay. But, uh, now he went and he's still there. Yes. Uh, so I guess we can leave. Yeah, and then see where we go next. Hello. Oh, floor. Huh? It changed to different hallway again. It's so sudden. What's going to make on to make something like this happen? No, I've already decided that I'm not going to be surprised. That's right. There's no time for me to be surprised by something like this. Hi. Hi. Well, this is wonky. So, are Just we going to her. down the floors one by one? I don't. I don't, I don't know. Hello. What you been up to? Akane is twitching her nose like a beast and examining her surroundings. 
Hey, what happened? Bueno, says my god, bad. Belaxam must clink closer. Huh? What do you mean? Who? I don't know. She has my god after all. It's just my god! How much do you actually oper oper like how much can you operate? Because uh, you are taking quite a lot of these comments and you are even contributing some of your own. Oh. No. But still, her cut is pretty impressive. For some reason it's strangely intuitive. And Monokuma did say something about the main cast coming. It's surprising, but her gut must be correct again this time. <laughs> okay, so let's find a place we can enter. Do we actually it's get to see the old cast? Maybe the survivors. That would mean... Well, yeah, the survivors. So there was a door. Yeah. There was a door. It's probably that one. Wait! Oh, I this? can't see! Was this the new... No, it was... Yeah, it's it the music the hall. Hello. What is that thingy? Zen commandments. This looks like the music room. I feel I can see something strange. Monument. Let's look at it. Then. I can't see a monokuma Mon dolly at least. Uh, no. No, no monokumas. Holocron. Uh, let's look at the monument. It looks weirder. Yeah. Not like some sort of monument, why would there be a monument in the music room? And not just that, the mark engraved in the monument is the symbol of future foundation. Okay, below that symbol there's a short passage engraved. You wanna take it? The combat the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, the graduate of Hope Peak Academy were among the many who established the future foundation. Okay, yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you clearly didn't contribute to that anything. The future foundation was established by the graduates of the Host Peak Academy. What? Aren't they known as World End? This is completely different. Oh, come on. He completely made it up. Surprise! What is that? What is that? Words are floating in the air. Uh, it's even harder to look read them now. Yes, hologram. Forming sentences. Hmm? It might show them there as well. That is from an email. Regarding the report we gave you the other day, we have obtained information a person who claims to be a survivor of Hope's Peak Academy. Upon further investigation, there are a total of 15 survivors. Oh, wow. oh it's these people. You may be wondering about the number of people at this time. To survivors of Hope's Peak Academy, it's possible they may be targeted by ultimate despair. I believe we should acquire them and place them in our care as soon as possible. <laughs> Though I don't believe the group can go that far without Junko and Oshima rallying them. In a worst case scenario, we must prevent a repeat of the killing school life. Yeah. Well, how did that go? Also, if they are survivors of Herb's Peak Academy, we should expect them to be quite valuable to us. Mm. True. However, we are still investigating the details of the origins and we haven't located them either. Mm. We'll continue investigating this matter. Also, regarding a separate matter. Also, also, also. Also, also. We have, we have received a report from the research facility on Japawok Island. <laughs> Preparations have been completed. 
seems we can proceed with the experimental phase of the Neo World program. Survivors of the Hope Speak Academy. 15 students. Is that about us? Excluding Chiaki, who was part of the Future Foundation, there were definitely 15 of us. But what does survivors mean? Oh no. So they're talking from some other world. What happened outside of Chappawak Island? If the biggest, most awful Paka <clears throat> is really true, then the world isn't normal anymore. Maybe. I just find it seriously stupid that. Part of this is in his mind, and then he says part of it out loud. Yes. And why? I've Choose one. Season. We might be better off not remembering the memories we've lost. Hope. Hope, 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 hope. Yeah, I'll go lose in this room. <laughs> what well, well, about that? No, as long as Monokuma was around, she probably couldn't say anything carelessly. Monokuma. No, they took you in to make sure that you got better. Uh -huh, and they didn't... To undo the brain buffering and all that. Yes. And they didn't help Jungo. If he's the future foundation enemy, then his true identity must be... The ultimate despair who caused the biggest blah blah blah. The ones who... Are carrying out the will of Jungo and Oshima are making us go through this. Also, oh, it's caught my attention in the email too. What is this research facility on Chepawok Island mentioned in the email? What's that about? The only future foundation facility we found after the ancient ruin. There's no way that's the research facility. If there really is a research facility. Research facility, research facility. On this come island, on. there should be other future foundation members here. Somehow, there are still so many mysteries. Okay, do we get someone okay. else here then? And do we have a the lot of poo? <laughs> Hello, oh. Gorilla. Gorilla does not, does not really poo that much apparently. No. But we're still missing one pet. At some point, we need to do the riddles. Yeah. Circle around to get the last one, which are prob which is probably Monokuma. Oh, it's just you. Okay. You just loud. I do doubt you have anything more insightful to say. I don't think so. Then she might have something very intelligent. I I don't think so. The that one that's time. Not possible. Monokuma. Monokuma. Nice order. This feels different from a classroom. Yes, you saw it was it's teacher's, a teacher's lounge. lounge. He can't read. Oh, oh. Okay. He's probably the office, right? I mean, the room kind of has a stuffy teacher wipe to it. Stuffy teacher wipe, uh, thank you. The office, huh? Now that you mention it, it does look like that. Yeah. Yeah, more importantly, have you seen Miss Sonia? I don't see her anywhere. How much longer is this guy gonna be obsessed with Sonia? Give it up already! He's not gonna do it. Even Hachime is getting it that Sonia doesn't like you. Everybody else. See that seriously. Monokuma, Monokuma, Monokuma. Monokuma! Magide? Magide? Well, it wasn't really hidden, to be honest. No. And he is. We haven't still used the coins. Yeah. List of subjects. What's that? There's a newspaper thingy there as well. Something written on the blackboard. What's written here? Hello? Is that... is that Hyoko? Yes. Just Ultimate imposter. Ultimate imposter. But wait, um, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. Hyogo is the 15 because the other. Oh, it has things. Chiaki's name in it. Hmm. That actually as well. 
Oh, but does it have the... What? The, 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 the. What? Mr. Money. Ultimate Imposter. Oh yeah, he ultimate was actually Biakia. the Ultimate Imposter, yeah. Yeah, because that's not Biakia. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's just look at this. Newspaper. She looks so different. She looks way more grown up. Yeah. Because she looked like a 10 year old. Uh huh. How many years have actually passed? Is this a real thing? Hmm. I mean, look at her. Yeah. What is this? It says Miss Yoko Shionji. This can't mean the same Yoko, right? I mean, the Hyoko we knew. Yeah. She was much smaller and looked more childlike. It was pretty much her defining feature. I refuse to believe she was something like 16 or 17. Mm -hmm. I refuse to believe that. But photo in this newspaper. In a way, I can see the resemblance to Hyoko, but her height and figure. It's too different from Hyoko we knew. What does this mean? Me? This lady looks pretty much here. Is she Hyoko's older sister or something? No, it says Hyoko Sayonji here. Me? Eh? Uh. Oh, uh, the, uh, mm, Hyoko has an older sister with the same first and last name? Oh, no, come on. An older sister with the same first and last name? That That's the only explanation, right? I mean, look at it for yourself. That's not Yoko. But did you ever hear her mention an older sister? Ah. Well, it's not like I was that close to her or anything. It doesn't have an older sister. Yoko's the Sayonji family's only daughter. Ah. If she doesn't have a sister, then a uh, relative? No, there's still too much of a resemblance. What are you That's Yoko. Yeah. Dumbass. Oh. Yes, you dumbass too. Wow. Nothing. Uh, what are you saying? Yoko doesn't have a curvy body like this. Oh, da. Yeah, of I course he would right now. Pay attention to that. I, I mean, she was a famous for a childlike figure. She got away with all kinds of crap for looking like that. So... Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe she had a growth spot. Or maybe so much of her persona was erased while deleting all the bad stuff. That all that was left was a childlike, well, still a bully. I think there's something else <coughs> involved with that. What? What are you saying? She's already oh, dead. There's no way she could have had a growth spurt. It's because we've already established that this is a yes, boop, 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 a simulation. So yeah. basically, they may may have because they took away the memories. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they may have just made their appearances reflect what they were before they became insane and all that. So she would have been smaller. It's a simulation, it's not real reality. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. So that's why she probably looks like a child here. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's why... That's, why... Her, that's, that's her real body. Yeah, that, that's what I was going for, that they had to erase so much of her because she was so completely rotten that all that was left no, was a no. child. No, I'm, I'm just thinking it has to be that they have to look like what they looked like before this happened. Because they would be suspicious if somebody looked like a complete adult. Well, like, how are you with us? Well, that, well, that was, that was Nekomaru. Yeah. I still don't believe he's a high school student. He looked like he was 40. Yeah. Sorry. There we go, I just saw the clues I provided are true. It wouldn't be fair. What the heck? 
This is the truth. If this is the truth, then you're going this newspaper. Is he really saying this is the same person? That, that, that's impossible. I mean, how can there be a photo of a grown up Hyoko when she's already dead? Why does this even exist? Oi, oi. Could it be related to that list of subjects over there? Oh? Yabe na korea. If it says subjects, maybe it means there was some kind of experiment, right? The, the, that experiment says you because put it. Abyss! Abyss? Abyss, he's been saying that more than once during this game. Uh, I pointed it out before. Abyss? Like what? What am I saying? Abyss! It's a strange word. Just saying it out loud means it sounds messed up. What experiment? And now you look like a titan again. If it's some kind of experiment, it would mean that we are also the subjects, right? I mean, our names are also okay. written on the blackboard under the list of subjects. But what kind of experiment was it? Uh, uh, what's going on? It better not have anything to do with time travel. Yes, please no time time travel. It's so hard to get right. I feel the future is great. Yeah, but even those have so many silly parts. I don't care. They're great. They are still movies. great. I love them. <laughs> I have the eighties aesthetic that I really Oh yes. I love everything in the 80s. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially 80s movies. And 80s music and 80s fashion and all. Who's the old dude? Uh, he's the... Um, headmaster. I believe. Or was it the founder? Is it Rukamukura? Portrait is hanging on the wall. Seen before. Lakaris. Hoftik Academy founder Izuru Kamo Kamukura. But isn't that Hajime's name? Yes. Now that you actually mention it. Uh, because I recall it being something like that. Yeah, it, it was actually. And this was the super genius who got so fed up and started all the shenanigans. This is a bit wonky. Yeah. Let not Sora be right. No, I don't think it's like that. It's, it's a simulation. It's a simulation. It's a simulation, yes. And they had to make them appear like they were when they first ended Host Peak Academy and all that. Which would have been a couple of years ago, I think. The founder of Host Peak Academy. And his name is Uru Kamukura. <laughs> Stop this, stop. This clearly contradicts the information I obtained earlier. Damn it, another mystery! It's probably something like Crampuppy or something. And they just named the kid the same. Or maybe it's a clone. Uh, or it might be just an alternative personality created when they wanted to create this perfect person. And Hajime is the real personality and name. Hmm. And then they created this perfect, ooh, I'm um, super smart and Could be. named it Izuru Kamukura. I don't know. Whatever. There's too many possibilities with these games. Eh, might be wrong. Well, anyway. That's just too much. No? Too much for one. Oh, too yeah, the hologram. Sorry. Too much for one time. I can't anymore. Oh, yes, and we are actually at the given time already. Yeah. I've been looking at the clock as well, so... Ah! SL. Unless you want to miss what's on the hologram and probably some more dirty dirty emails. Then you should subscribe, click the notification bell, leave a like, leave a comment, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye! Uh.